Hey guys, it's your favorite reliability test guy here with another exciting video. In this video, we're going to cover the Rush Tech Parametric Reliability Test Sample Size Calculator. So how do you get this awesome tool? Well, you'll just get on here to your web browser. You'll go to www.tomrush.com. Once you're on this page, you just go over here to Tools and Resources and click on the link. And then you come to this awesome page with tools, resources, and white papers. So I highly suggest you check this out as there's a lot of useful resources here. Okay, so we just go here to the reliability and test calculators uh, section here. And we just go down to the parametric reliability test calculator field here. Just click and download. And then open it up. You might need to enable macros if it asks you. And uh, as you can see here, there's the reliability field, the confidence level field, but with the parametric reliability test calculator, it also includes being able to enter the shape parameter. So remember the shape parameter dependent on the value can either be uh, represent infantile failures, uh, during operation, operational life failures, and end of life failures. So um, that's a very useful uh, parameter to understand. Uh, you can check out my video on Weibull analysis for more details. Next, you can enter the mission time. The mission time will be the amount of time that your system is used in the field. And then the test time, this determines how much time you have to be able to perform the test. And allowable failures. So you can enter the number of allowable failures for your tests, which will then ultimately generate the number of samples required for your test. Now, some, there's some manipulation here you can do here, not really manipulation, but tricks. Um, if you enter a test time that's higher than your mission time, what will happen here is you'll need a lower number of samples for the same reliability and test confidence level. And as you can see here, by doubling the test time here, we got the sample size down all the way down to three. So keep that in mind. Um, some tricks here, obviously, Time is usually a, the most valuable resource here, while sample sizes can also be costly depending on the cost of your system. This, what you can do here is increase your test time and then get a lower sample size and then maintain the same reliability and confidence by accelerating the test profile, which is essentially increasing your stresses in order to reduce the amount of time. So you'll be able to main, have a fine balance between time and sample size. But keep in mind, don't uh, use too high of an exaggeration factor when accelerating your tests, as you may create unrealistic failure modes if the stress levels are too high. You can check out my video on accelerated life testing as well on my channel. Okay, so last thing here, there's also instru an instructions tag for the uh, calculator here. Um, it has all the details on how to enter your inputs along with some example workflow and other information. So um, please read through this uh, before using the calculator so you're ready to hit the ground running. And if you have any questions or if you find any bugs or any errors or run into a corner case with this calculator, please let me know um, so I can get that fixed. I really appreciate it. Okay, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.